First off, thanks for clicking on this video. It means a lot. Second, we'll be covering how to clean your wheels and tires. This is a clip from a recent video I published, except it's at normal speed and with no music. Let me know your thoughts on that. All the links to the products tools used will be in the description box down below. And if you want to start your detailing business, you can find those guides down below there as well. Let's get into this video. For starters, the wheels were covered in this muddy, sticky, whitish residue looking material. It was literally all over the car on the paint and the wheels, tires, and fenders. The good thing is it wasn't paint or anything. I don't know what it was, but it wasn't anything too bad, but it did need a thorough cleaning. Okay, first step is going to be pre-rinsing the entire setup. Now, if you have like a real caked on mud on your fenders and it looks like it's gonna be really bad and it hasn't been washed in months and it's gone mudding and off-roading, once you pressure wash it, you about knock off a majority of all the dirt and debris that's stuck on the fenders, tires, and wheels. So once you get done with that, it's already a lot easier to clean. So you want to give it a thorough rinse. Uh, if you have a garden hose, or at least not a pressure washer, uh, it's not going to do as an effective job. It'll still help out tremendously, but it always does help if you have a pressure washer. Uh, as you can see there, I'm also spraying the ground. That way when the brake dust comes down, it kind of gets carried on away instead of sitting there on the concrete and staining it. For products, I'm using the Adams Wheel and Tire Cleaner diluted 2 to 1 for the tires and fenders. For the wheel, I'm using Super Clean diluted 10 to 1 and an assortment of brushes, which are easy detail brushes, the Chemical Guys long fender brush, and a few Adams Polishes brushes. All those links will be down below. I know I look like Mr. Cool Guy there, but uh, when you're cleaning wheels, especially when you're using something like the Easy Detail Brush or similar brushes, it tends to fling back a lot of that brake dust and solution back to you. So wearing gloves, um, eye protection is definitely recommended. I don't always do the best job of it, but I definitely recommend when you can and potentially you should always aim to always wear some eye gear um, and some gloves when you're working on the wheels. And I'll continue to be an activist for pump sprayers, for clay lubricants, for your all-purpose cleaner, for your most frequent frequent used um, chemicals. It's a pump sprayer is a total lifesaver. It's you don't get as fatigued. It goes quicker. You're more productive. It holds more liquid. So I definitely recommend. Even if it's not an expensive one, just go to Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, and get a little I don't know, twelve, fifteen dollar pump sprayer, and just test it out to see how much better it is. Another tip is always. I mean, it may not be a big deal, but 
check the driveway and see where the water is going. There's been times where I work on a customer's vehicle in a driveway and they either redid it or just the way they, they, they designed the driveway, it like the water goes into like the patio or like it puddles water in an area where you don't want it to and you might have to move the car because it's just easier if you do that. That's what happened here. I didn't like where the water was merging to. Um, it was kind of getting too close to like their patio surface and getting like onto the personal stuff. And it was water with brake dust and dirt. So I eventually moved the car back. Um, so that's something you want to keep in mind. It's like the very nuanced thing that doesn't usually happen, but it is something to keep in mind. Obviously, this is not the same wheel as I was cleaning before. I didn't do a good job of filming the same wheel through the entire process, but I want to point out that when you're cleaning or detailing anything, uh, it's not so much about being perfect on the first time around. If you got to go back and touch up some areas, maybe just spot clean some things, that's okay. The key part of just making sure you're putting out quality work is double checking, triple checking your work. So here I'll spend time just, and I did this across all fenders, tires, and wheels. Uh, because of that material that was on there, uh, I didn't get everything off. Um, so I just went back and just made sure everything was cleaned. I didn't miss anything, touched up the wheels, tires. Um, just because we're all human, so we're not gonna be perfect on this on the on the on the first try. So just if you have to go, double check, triple check your work, touch up, and keep it going. Now for the tires, I'm using Meguiar's Hyper Dressing Diluted 4 to 1. This product, you're able to dilute it 1 to 1, 4 to 1, some other 1 to 1s. Uh, it's, it's a very versatile product in terms of diluting it. I stick with 4 to 1, that's what I've been sticking with for so long now. And using the applicator pad is from Adam's uh, Polishes, by far my favorite tire applicator pad to use. I think I have like 6 on hand, well, stocked in the garage. Uh, but I've been using it for, I think, two years now, just, you know, multiple applicator pads, and by far, my favorite. Now lastly, with the fenders, I actually did do this uh, beforehand where I'll spray all the fenders first. That way I can let the product drip down and kind of give it more coverage instead of me having to work it in. So I'll literally spray it, let it sit there as I work on other things, and then come back with a towel, wipe it down, and we should be good to go. I usually only do this when it's like larger size fenders. If it's something small that I could just deal with right there, I'll do it, but for the most part, I'll spray, let it sit and dwell, and then wipe it down. And there we go, it is all complete. Now depending on the size, condition, and such, it may take you quite a bit of time, depending on your skill level and the tools and products that you have. But that'll end it here. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave those in the comment section down below. Check those links in the description box down below, and I will see you on the next one.